What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and we're going to do the ranked match today. We're against Tajik, and I have a decent starting hand. Hopefully, his growth based wing shields are awesome. And I will sacrifice the early roasted bean potion because a focus can be pretty uh, important to put him like a duke in the stream because they only have one attack up to four pretty nicely. If you go first, I tend to sacrifice my uh, my countdown reduction more. He's decay, okay. So hopefully we can get a wings warder soon. And now I will sacrifice the focus. Yeah, so like I said, a now if he's structure energy, I'll probably sack the wing shield, but we have no way of telling this turn unless he like plays like a range creature for two energy. Well I mean besides higher smuggler. Okay. Should we go full on? Yeah, alright, I'm gonna sack the wing shield here. We're going full on, just gonna destroy this thing. We are going to kill it. Um, what should we have in front? I guess. I'm sure the Asian Knight can go in front. Alright. And probably like a structure put in front, but at least we'll be able to destroy that structure this turn. This turn. Let's see. Spark on you, okay. And is that gonna be all he does? Is he have a one drop? Copper auto baby? No. Hmm, interesting. Surprised he didn't have a structure there. Maybe he just didn't want to like lose a structure for no reason. Um, I'll play the. I don't know. I want to play the wing fan, but wing fan is just not that good anymore with only three attack. And Royal Skirmisher is relentless, and but he's only three health, and this is energy, but he's burns. But I mean, he can still burn these guys, so I'll just play the Royal Skirmisher. And okay, right in the middle. So he can start burning stuff now. I wish I had a wings ward or something to stop that. So I am. Okay, so maybe he's range energy, but he's probably structure energy. Most people are in structure energy. And even if you are, some people uh, in their structure decks, their structure energy decks, use cannon as a, and stuff. So let's see. I'll sack the cleaver here for cards. Okay, good. I'll go. Th I gotta get this out of the way. So I'm gonna roasted bean potion. Okay. <laughs> so I am actually 1920 rating right now, which is actually only good enough for number five on the ladder. Um, I was number three on the ladder for a short while, but then uh, Zark and um, someone else. I'm not totally sure. Pass me. So now I'm trying to. Uh, I, what I want to do is I want to get another weekly winner's badge. So, if it's not getting the most ranked wins in the week, I want to be in the top three. I'll sack the wing shield. I'll play the Ducal Skirmisher. Because wing shield is really only amazing versus growth. Um, I guess I'll keep pinging that idol. And... You versus Bean Potion, you can move like all over. Put you there, I'll put the Dugo there. He's not up to Thunder Surge yet. He's only at 4 energy, it's pretty good. So I've been winning a lot with this, but I think um, Aggro Order should be get, be getting nerfed soon. I hope it does. Even though I play it a lot, it's kind of, kind of weird, it's kind of unfair. Order's not really supposed to be that aggressive, but that's really growth identity. But I'm gonna keep playing as long as it's good. It seems to be the best thing right now. So what I figured to do, hopefully I can get into the top three, and then I right, post resistance on that. Well, we could always bother this and take that out. Um, <laughs> let's go for the pother. We have two thirds chance of moving that, or do we take the one half? No, we'll take yeah. Of course, we'll take the two thirds chance, and we get it. Um, I guess I'll sack the vanguard. And I'll bless and face you before you die. Yeah. 
good chance you're gonna like die. And um, to so get maximum damage, and you can't even get a thunder surge off. I mean, hopefully it doesn't have blind rages, but so I don't really mind clumping up for maximum damage. So awesome, looking good so far. We have Eternal Sword and Vanguard in our hand. Eternal Swords are really awesome because no one, not a single faction really is a good way to deal with Eternal Swords. Because you can have all the removal in the world, and as long as I can keep putting creatures in the board, just gonna keep latching on to an adjacent creature. So as I was saying, if I can get to top three, I'm gonna stop playing on my main account in, in ranked and just try to hold that for the rest of the week. And if somebody, obviously, if somebody passes me, then I'll play again. But I, what I'll do is then I'll play on my alt account. I've been playing a little bit on my alt account. Um, I've gotten it up from 1600 to like seven high 1700s uh, this morning. Well, obviously this video is coming out later than when I'm recording this though. Uh, well, we can't destroy this. It's potion resistance. I guess I'll just... Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and... Sacrifice the paw there and play the vanguard. I kind of want to eternal sword you so you can't be uh, burned. But, I mean, he might have a mount dispersal. Okay, so I will deal damage there. And I'll put a van. Now you can get to thunder surges, so I'll try to separate a bit. Okay. So it looks like he structured energy pieces at that machine chant, but he hasn't been able to put that many structures down, so we're looking pretty good. Hmm. We have Eternal Sword in hand. Oh, dispersal on him, okay. Fine. And I'll sack the Royal Skirmisher because, like I said, Eternal Swords are really awesome. Gotta keep them. Um. You can move twice, so you can move down and kill you. I, could probably, I should probably just do that, right? Yeah, I think I should. Okay, let's go ahead and just kill you. And we have nothing else to do, so let's just put you out of burn range, get some extra damage off, put this idol in decimation range, and take a crosswind back there, because although they have three counts down, they can get some massive idol damage off if they survive. Okay, so even if he decides to like violent dispersal this, it'll latch onto one of these guys that's who's attacking. He's sacking for resources, sudden eruption, okay. And he gets the two across him and the two things with two health, which kind of sucks, but it's, it's alright. I mean, I can win this turn. <laughs> so, GG to you. Don't even have to use my eternal sword. And let's see how much rating we gain. Can we get up? Let's see, now we are at. 1929 and I don't think that is good enough for uh, top three I think you know I'm still five I think Zark leave at the time I'm recording this he is 1932 and Antifrad is like 1936 so one more ranked one we could become the top three but Aquio and Nick Dean are way high up there. They're like 1980s and 1990s. So I don't believe I'll be able to catch up to them unless they like lose a match or two. But that's all right. So I guess maybe uh, I'll start playing some. I'll keep playing ranked on here until hopefully I can get back into the top three, and then I can start working up my alt account. Because at one point, like when I was playing both of my accounts, I had number one, number three in the ladder a few months ago, more than a few months ago. So. uh... I thank you all for watching. Hope you're all really enjoying uh, Nerf vs. Blinky Deck Wars. And like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And comment any suggestions if you, if you have any. And I will see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, everybody.